Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Professor Rifkin. Uh, now, uh, uh, three kind of more political statements, uh, first by me and then uh, uh, our uh, Commission Vice Prince Sefcovic and then uh, Director General Lemaitre. But uh, let me first uh, say that it's very clear that we need uh, to radically change our thinking. As an example is this energy sector. Uh, the EU needs to support the energy and digital revolution uh, in a much broader and, and as well deeper way. Cities and regions need to embrace new technologies, cooperate across borders and support the entrepreneurial spirit throughout the whole energy sector and actually beyond. Crossing borders, including with other industrial sectors and uh, with uh, knowledge disciplines. We need to invest the smart, uh, think green and be innovative. I come from Finland uh, where we already have several apps uh, just recently introduced uh, to support citizen-driven activities such as sh showing house buyers the energy efficiency of the property or how many years it takes to cover the costs of in installing solar panels in your own house roof. This is openly available. People can compare this, and it's, it's really getting uh, an interesting booming going on. Today, we will see here in this event examples that demonstrate the only way to build a smart, sustainable economy is from the bottom up. Uh, these action plans strongly related to implementing the global governance of mayors for climate and energy need to be shared across all levels of partners, uh, government. We stress heavy, heavily European partnerships. That's why we are uh, asking our own mayors, our regional councillors, take a strong action to move ahead. Uh, this uh, means uh, very much uh, how to integrate different funding instruments. The EU is trying to soften, uh, soften the blow. Today, one third of the entire EU budget is for cohesion policy. The European Investment Plan for Europe showed uh, its uh, uh, usefulness. It has triggered 164 billion in its first 18 months. Now, looking for cohesion finan financing, it really can ca counteract a lot with this challenge, but it needs to be stronger and it needs to be work in synergy with the strategic investments. I count on the support of the Commission collaborators to make this happen. This is our joint challenge to find better, more effective cohesion policy after 2020. But I stress heavily, we need cohesion funding for all the regions in, in Europe. Uh, in my home uh, city, Espo, we have a, a contract with the largest Scandinavian energy company to make my city a, a, a forerunner in co-creating innovative energy solutions with all other actors, including citizens and including all businesses, small companies especially. Investment levels in Europe have dropped uh, by 15% uh, over the last decade. And my city, and I hope, hope that all the other cities as well, try now to showcase in concrete terms how and what way we can recover. In Espo, with our uh, own uh, metro growth corridor, we show what is needed to get back on the track in renewing our living environment, but especially on this case, back on track in public-private investment to create new jobs and, and sustainable growth. Our committee and the uh, EU Commission have a joint action plan which will transform Europe's energy system through innovation. Governments and industry at all levels have a, a shared responsibility to deliver, and it needs local and regional uh, leaders to become pioneers. Local level investment is not just about transport and other infrastructure projects. It's all about investing also in education and research, in smart energy and housing, social and health facilities, in supporting startups and scaling up. 
Let me conclude that, uh, especially now looking at the British uh, referendum last summer and other events of the last months, it is a wake-up call for everyone who believes in EU project. Everything uh, what we do must be measured by simple criteria. Will it benefit the lives of our citizens? This is why uh, I'd like to thank the Commissioner for his recognition that the Energy Union will only be delivered with the support of local and regional level. We need concrete pioneers now to tackle these questions. Uh, Commissioner Vice President Sefcovic declared that, that this year, 2017, is the year of implementation. I fully uh, endorse that. For this, we call the pioneering cities and regions to innovate and implement new smart city solutions. We need joint action plans uh, on flexible energy systems, including sustainable mobility, investments in renewables, more energy efficiency in buildings and industry with consumers, uh, the center of all activities. Delivery, delivery and delivery. This is why I'm here on the day of the Maastricht Treaty, which was signed 25 years ago. The day our committee was officially born, as for me, celebration is nothing without concrete action. Thank you for your attention. Now, Maros, the floor is yours.